We've had a couple of frosts here and that's a good marker of when you want to start planting your tulips. And I love growing tulips with vegetables because then you make better use of your space. You don't have to have your tulips in one place and your rhubarb somewhere else. You can mix the two together. And so what I do is I just randomly throw the bulbs and then I'm going to plant them where they land. And you can just do a whole handful like that. And again, if you plant them there, they will look really nice and natural. That's particularly important in grass. But even in here, I don't want it to look like a cutting garden. Whoops, that one fell off. But I want it to look more naturalistic than that, as if they're almost cohabiting the rhubarb and the tulips. So just chucking them down and then planting them where they fall. And that sort of spacing's fine. Um, in a cutting garden I would put them closer, but here they're about four, between four and six inches apart. I've got one of these brilliant bits of kit, which is basically like a massive giant apple corer. And so just push that to the side, go in with your apple corer, your bulb planter. Pull out the plug of soil and this bed here has had lots and lots of grit added to it in the past so I'm not worried about putting grit in the bottom of the hole so I'm just going to plop that bulb in, go on and cut the next core and as I do so this one will come out the top and so I can then plop that back over the bulb and firm it and then just cover again with the mulch. Again, pour of soil, plop my bulb with the pointy end uppermost, go to plant the next one, The point is, it makes quite light work of planting a lot of bulbs. It's the perfect core that you get with, particularly with our sort of relatively heavy soil. So I'm trying not to tread where I know I've put the bulbs. And the other thing, of course, because we've got heavy clay soil, it, it forms a, a sort of a plug that sticks together. It, it, to do that on a much more crumbly, gritty soil, just do it after a relatively rainy day and it'll hold. But even if it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Uh, you just need to pile back the soil over the head of the bar. And you can see it's, it's really quite quick and easy to do. And it's worth also saying that the brilliant thing about this is that because it has this sharp or sharpish blade there, you can use this to cut through grass and so you can plant bulbs all the way through your rougher grass or even on the edges of your lawn. Put crocuses in the sunny patches and snowdrops in the shade.